What are the basics to get your boiler to work? Well, you need gas and you need some form of electrode to create a spark. And when the gas meets the spark, it ignites. A sensor held in the flame confirms the gas is lit. Once confirmed, the gas valve can stay open. So how does this apply to your boiler? And what can you diagnose yourself without compromising gas safety? Well, no matter whose manufacturer of boiler, we need to determine the following. One is the gas valve opening. Two, is there a spark occurring? Three, is the gas igniting? And finally, is the burner staying on? Your boiler control board determines when the gas valve will open. Solenoid coils are energised on the valve, which allows the valve to open and the gas to flow. If you don't have a multimeter to check for voltages, why not keep it simple and use one of these? This device is called a magnet stick and emits a light when it senses a magnetic field. The solenoid coils on top of your gas valve will produce a magnetic field and this sensor will pick it up. In the end cap there is a magnet. Unscrew it and move it over the tip of the nozzle to test. Right, back to our original question. Is the gas valve opening? The boiler I'm working on is a modern high efficiency combi unit. But these four fundamental questions apply to all boilers. Right, let's check for spark and ignition. Well, we've witnessed the gas valve coming on, we've generated sparks, and we've ignited the gas. Now the next question is, will the burner stay on? This is now the responsibility of the flame sensor or thermocouple, and it's this sensor's job to confirm the gas is lit. Once ignition has been confirmed, it will keep the gas valve open. And somewhere on the display panel, there will be a light showing that the main burner is on. So, let's just summarise what I've talked about. This ignition sequence is common on most domestic boilers. The component layout might be different. 
but the principles are the same. If nothing else, I hope it's given you some form of insight as to how it works. Changing components like the spark electrode or the flame sensor is literally a 10 minute job for somebody who's competent. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching.